In this video I'm going to show you how to update products by exporting and importing using Magento Dataflow. Um, so far I've created an export profile. I've called the file name cameras.csv and I've asked it to export all products that have the attribute set name cameras. And in the words of Blue Peter, here's what I made earlier. I've got the export, six products, all the cameras that belong to the site. What I want to do is update the prices. So what I'm going to do is get rid of any attributes that I don't want to update. The only one that needs to stay permanently is the SKU. So I can delete these ones. Delete this one. I want to keep the name. And I'm going to delete all columns except for the price. So let's take these ones out. And that one. And all of this as well. Okay. So now we've got a much simpler spreadsheet with the important SKU there the name just for reference and the price so what I want to do is update a few of these prices so I'm going to update this one name from 299 to 349 I'm going to update this one to 249.99 it's inflation that's caused me to do this nothing else there we go, so all those prices are much higher now. So I'm just going to round these up. Right. So I'm going to save my spreadsheet as before. Save as. Save it to my desktop. Call it cameras. That's fine. File type is a CSV. I'll keep the current format. And that's that. Okay. I go to system, import, export, data flow profiles. I'm again looking for import all products. And I'm going to start by uploading my file. Click save. And then go to run profile. You can see it is, it's already, uh, always added onto the bottom. I'm going to let it import those re records. Once, once that's done, go to my category, refresh, and you can see all those prices are updated. So I don't need all those other attributes, all I need is the SKU. And the price. I didn't need the name in there to update this at all. I just kept it in there anyway. Another thing you can do as well is you don't have to actually have to export the spreadsheet as I did to start with. I can create a new one. And I can actually start writing it in from scratch. So I could say put my screw in there. Could say update my description. Okay, so all we've got now is the SKU and the description. I could update the prices well if I want to. Let's take it back down to 200. And I'm going to save this as well my desktop make sure I save as a CSV make sure I save it in UTF-8 as well okay so this is the product that I'm going to try and update so I'm updating the price and the description which is there. 
I'm already in my import profile from before. I'm going to go to upload file. I'm going to choose my new CSV. Save. And then run the profile. Should go very quickly this time. If I refresh this now, we should see that the price has changed, so is the description. So, very few rows on there, very few columns needed. All you need is the SKU for it to be able to identify which product we're talking about, and then any attributes that you want to update. And that's it.